Hello everyone, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with an old classic lens uh, that I want to talk about a little bit. It is dubbed the Dream Lens by many who own it, by the fans, by those who had bought one. And there is a Flickr group uh, dubbed the Dream Lens. And the reason it's called the Dream Lens is because this is an old classic lens from the 60s and 70s with an F95 aperture. This is a 50 F95. Yes, back in the day, Canon beat Leica to the punch by producing a faster than F1 lens. And this is not the fastest lens ever made. But back then, this was available for the Canon 7 film rangefinder system. So this indeed was a rangefinder lens, is a rangefinder lens. And I stumbled upon one thanks to a reader. And it's pretty clean. Um, the lens, like I said, is pretty old. As you can see, it has a massive front element. The one I have has the original uh, hood with it, metal cap, not hood, cap. And uh, the images you can get out of this lens on a rangefinder camera are very unique, very artsy. Uh, the bokeh, the bokeh, however you want to say it, is very different than most other lenses. Uh, some of some people hate it, some people love it, some people think it's the best thing ever. But when you shoot this lens at f9.5, what you get out of it is a little bit of softness. Uh, it's still a sharp lens, even wide open, but it has a little bit of glow and sharpness to it. Uh, and this is what's going to give it the unique qualities. The uh, out-of-focus backgrounds at f9.5 are very distinct. Uh, they look like a tree can turn into big balls, like orbs looking, uh, orb looking balls of light and color. So it's a very cool lens if you're into that artistic shallow depth of field look. Uh, this is the, you will see, this one says Canon TV lens. From my understanding, the TV version came later and has different coatings on the glass. Uh, this may explain why I'm getting sharp and contrasty images from this where others are getting dull and flat images from theirs. Uh, so when you find one of these, you want to look for a clean one. This particular uh, lens was modified uh, to Leica M mount by the previous owner uh, who sent it in to Don Goldberg uh, to have this fixed. So basically it's now permanently modified for Leica M. So this will mount on an M camera such as an M9, monochrome, M240, M7, M6, MP, and you can have a super fast F95 lens. Now, it looks really massive as you can see, but I'm going to set it next to the Leica 50 Summicron, which is considered a really small lens, and you're not you're going to see it's not any taller than the 50 Summicron. As a matter of fact, they're pretty close in length. Where you're going to see the massive difference is in the diameter of the lens. The uh, front element is massive on the Canon, and it's pretty tiny on the Summicron. So there they are side by side, and what the Summicron offers is basically when you shoot with the 50 Summicron at f2, your subject is going to look like it's cut out, almost like a cardboard figure placed in front of a 3D background. It's very sharp, and the fall off into the autofocus areas is very abrupt, unlike the 50 Summilux, where it kind of melts away gradually. The Canon 9.5, uh, when shot on a Leica M Digital, you're going to get semi-sharp subject in focus, and the background is just going to melt into a gob of ooze and uh, it's going to look very, very unique, very artsy, like I said. And I personally really enjoy the look, but it's probably not a lens that you would want to shoot every single day because you might get tired of the same look over and over. So it's like a special effects lens, but I think it's really cool. Um, now, this particular lens here, the focus is spot on on my uh, Leica cameras. Um, and it's very easy to focus, very easy to use, but I'm gonna show it to you on the Leica M240 so you can see what it looks like. There it is on the Leica M. As you can see, it's pretty massive. When you look through the viewfinder, it's really not any more obscured than if you were shooting with a Noctilux uh, 
or a, another equivalent lens. Compared to the Noctilux, the Canon 59.5 is definitely shorter and more squat. It's fat and short, like someone took a Noctilux and put a five ton anvil on it to squish it down. Um, so it's wider. It has, I believe, a 72 millimeter or 77 millimeter front uh, filter mount. Um, and so it basically just looks like a big fat round glass element on your camera. Um, when you hold it, it actually is very balanced because it's not front heavy like a Noctilux or like the old SLR Magic F9 T95 lens. It's very short compared to what other F95 lenses will give you. Again, if you put the Summicron next to it, it's not really any longer. So the focus on this particular copy is very smooth. The aperture dials are stiff, but not sticky at all. And the lens is actually in very great shape for being so old. So I just wanted to show you guys this lens because it's actually pretty rare. It's hard to find in like an M mount and hard to find that's done well. I think if you found one, uh, they come in uh, a mount for the Leica 7 rangefinder. So it's not like a thread mount. You can't adapt it. They have to be professionally adapted to Leica M. I think it costs around four to five hundred dollars to get one of these cleaned, lubricated, adjusted, and the mount put on. So if you find one of these, say a KEH, for twenty-eight hundred dollars, expect to pay another four or five hundred dollars to get it set up for Leica M use. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that said, it's a very artistic lens. I put uh, tons of images up on the website at stephaphoto.com so you can see samples from the lens and the Leica M240 and uh, see if it's something that may be for you. If it is, my suggestion is that if you find one uh, in good condition um, and at a reasonable price, it's probably best to snag it if you know you're gonna want one because my guess is that over the next three years, four years, that this lens is gonna be harder to find and in my opinion, it's probably going to go up in value. So that is my thoughts on the Canon 50mm f9.5 lens modified to fit Leica M. And there you go. And I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, take a look at the samples at stevehuffphoto.com. And thanks for watching. Bye.